Also tonight, the U.S. has issued a global travel alert warning of potential terrorism overseas. Anyone headed abroad is asked to use caution. So Robert Lowry is working you to see how travel within our borders could also be affected. Robert? Normally, a global alert like that would create a lot of tension for anyone who might be traveling in the air or on the road. But I spoke with a professor and terrorism expert at the University of Dayton who said if any city, airline, or major event was being targeted, those areas would be on high alert. So for anyone who might be traveling, there shouldn't be too much of a problem. A global travel alert follows 21 embassies set to close on Sunday, all of those located in the Middle East and North Africa. It appears they have some solid information, but the indications are that the, the threat is abroad. With the U.S. warning Americans overseas to be on alert, we're asking an expert how the alert is affecting travel here. It's probably more uh, caution for an American tourist or an American um, business person, businessman or businesswoman who's traveling to one of uh, the, the countries where the embassies are being closed and just asking them to um, have an abundance of uh, caution. Which means anyone traveling inside the U.S. should be safe. Mark Ensalaco, director of human rights research at the University of Dayton, says if airlines or cities were being targeted, Homeland Security would have those places on high alert. But the threat seems to be solely placed abroad, with uprisings in several countries. Ensalaco says it could be a sign the terrorist group is just trying to stay relevant. With upheaval in Egypt, the uh, Muslim Brotherhood president uh, Morsi being deposed, the unrest in Syria, um, Al Qaeda is really desperate to prove that it's relevant and is still capable of uh, striking at the United States. For anyone set to travel to that part of the world, however, he urges caution. And Salako says August is typically a month of potential activity for attacks. Now, for anyone who might be traveling in the next month overseas, U.S. officials are asking anyone to sign up for Homeland Security Alerts. They're also asking people to check in with U.S. consulates in those countries they are visiting to make sure that they are safe. Reporting live, Robert Lowry, 2 News, working for you.